You guys, I was so excited. I was just getting ready to bring you out here to show you our new ducklings, and there is quite a mess. Here we go. Loved you guys' suggestions on this bird, and Coco was a really good one, especially for a chocolate Muscovy. But I love the Amelia Earhart angle. So being a female flyer, we're gonna go with Amelia. They had all your fans. There she goes. And we moved all of the royal palm turkeys over here a night ago. So this is their second day coming out, and they actually all went in last night, which is something they didn't do the turkey tractor, or chicken tractor. But now this blue slate, Tom that hasn't had any turkey friends for quite some time and has never been around a turkey female. It's getting really excited. Here we go. So we had a broody duck in here sitting on five duck eggs. Two had hatched last night and she just left, she just left. She took the two out into the run. They're out here. I just came out a few minutes ago to check on their waters and bring them out here. And this is our broody duck. She should be sitting on the duck eggs. And we have a duckling right here. Oh. What I have not been able to track down yet is the other one. There was a second one that was hatched out with it. I have no idea. I have no idea where to look. But we've got more important things to do because we still have some ducks hatching that may or may not still be alive. This is my other problem, is now this cat can get into this run and this cat very well may have, have taken the other duckling for all I know. I, I just don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just came out here, I cannot find it. I don't know if it fell. So what I need to do is take these three eggs because she's not sitting on them now. And we gotta see if we can get, if we can help them to hatch. Normally you shouldn't help assist with a hatching. You'll, you'll cut blood vessels and different things attached to the shell and you'll cause problems, but we've got no other option here because she is right there and she is not sitting on them. And that's a problem. We've got this one here. I don't know if we still have any movement. This one was started. That one's still moving. That one's still moving. And this one I just listened to. There's some some pecking inside the egg. And I th I think I think there's a chance we can get one or two of these guys out and maybe he heat them up and, and help them. So let's take these eggs inside. Let's see if we can get somebody to hatch and be alive today. All right, well, I've got them in the incubator, and so now they're getting heat at 100 degrees, where to outside it's less than 50 degrees right now. And so I just wanna to start to assist. I don't know if they'd make it out on their own, so I'm gonna to try to help them a little bit until they can start to get out of the shell, and then I'll get them back in here and they can get out the rest of the way. I'm being really careful to make sure I don't break any blood vessels, anything that would cause bleeding. And so I'm just gonna get them enough to where they can work their way out on their own. And I can feel it pushing against the shell, so it'll, it'll bust out here any second.
Okay, so it's still connected to the egg. I'm gonna put it back into the incubator. This is egg number two. Let's get a little bit of movement from this one. I'm making sure to give it some moisture. I'll see if I can get them started here. See a little bit of mouth movement. Got a little bit of blood around here, and I want to make sure I don't cause any more bleeding there. Okay, so that one's partially out, still connected to the shell, and I'll put it back into the ink. And this last one has some pecking going on, but hasn't started pipping anywhere. I'm gonna leave this one alone for a little bit and see if it starts to pip now that it's in the heat to be at 100 degrees, where outside it was at 50 degrees by itself and would have been too cold to try to get out. So I'm gonna put it back in the incubator and if it doesn't start, I might try to intervene later, but for now, I'll just try to put it back in the incubator. So we found the other one. It was out in the run and it had been all beaten up. I went out this morning and I saw all of them underneath her, the two ducklings and the three eggs that were getting ready to hatch. And she must have gotten up to go get some food and drink. And the two ducklings must have gone with her and then they didn't make it, they didn't survive. And that's not normal practice for us. Normally, as soon as they hatch, we move everybody over into a brooder or into the chicken run where we can let them be by themselves and separate from the flock so we don't have any issues like this and we were waiting for them all to hatch and we had no idea that she would leave them like she did. We're gonna have to be really careful. As soon as we have any chicks or ducklings hatch in the future, we'll always move them right over and we typically do, but we were just waiting for all five to hatch so we could move them all at once and didn't think she would abandon them like she did. Next morning, everything that happened was about yesterday afternoon, evening time, and last night, really late, like at 11, at 10 or 11, the power went out for the whole town. Oh, sorry. The power went out for the whole town. We didn't want to open up the box at all. We wanted to keep the heat in there, but we want to check in on them now and see how they're doing. All right, so duckling one and two are both drying off, and let's see if this egg, we'll check that egg here in just a minute. So we don't want to mess with these guys too much. They need to dry off in there, but they're looking really good right now. Be real careful with them. Okay, and this is the other duckling. And they both hatched within about 30 minutes of each other. They both got all the way out of the shell. So right now they're just working on trying to walk and get dried off. Do you hear anything? It's, it's way in a beep, beep, beep. It's, I'm hearing is it's starting to pip right there, right above the zero, right there. I need to keep the egg warm and I need to keep spraying it uh, so it keeps its humidity and it helps soften the shell for it to get out. So we're gonna give this one a little while and let this one start to get out. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. 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 Oh. 
All right, guys, well, we are all wrapped up. We have got the ducklings down in their brooder, and they're looking great. Juan has a balance issue, so we're going to have to keep working with him to make sure he's getting some food and water. But the other two, even the one that hatched yesterday, is moving around really well. So they've got some food and water. We've got a heat lamp, and we've got a Brinzy heat plate that we'll link down in the description if you're interested in that. And those have both worked really well for us. So thank you guys for hanging out with us on our couple crazy days with ducklings. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>